When it comes to diabetes, the amount and the type of carbohydrates that you take in each day are important for keeping your diabetes under control. Carbohydrates are a primary source of fuel for the body, but they are also often a source of confusion for people with diabetes. When we eat, carbohydrates are broken down into glucose, the form of sugar that's transported and used by our body. Carbs are more readily broken down than proteins and fats, so carbohydrates have a larger impact on our blood sugar levels. For people with diabetes who struggle to keep their blood sugars in check, this direct impact on blood glucose levels means that it's important that they're aware how many carbohydrates they're taking in at each meal. Ideally, the amount of carbohydrates that you eat should be balanced by the amount of insulin in your body to make sure that blood glucose levels don't spiral out of control. If you have type 1 diabetes or insulin dependent type 2 diabetes, then you should adjust your doses in line with the volume of carbohydrates that you eat or drink. This is where the term counting carbohydrates comes from. However, I won't go into that here because there's another video about counting carbs which can help you understand how food is absorbed by the body. Carbohydrates can be found in a wide range of foods, particularly starchy or sugary foods. This includes naturally occurring sugars as well as added sugars. However, the amount of carbohydrates in each food can vary considerably. Obvious foods that are high in sugar are things like chocolate and biscuits, as well as most desserts. However, fruit can also have a surprisingly high amount in it. For example, a banana can have over three teaspoons of sugar. So if you are diabetic, you need to be aware of this. Many staple foods are high in starch, which makes it quite hard to avoid. Any foods made with flour, so bread, cakes or pastries, will all be very high in starch. Rice, barley and oats are also very starchy, as well as some vegetables like potatoes, parsnips and carrots. You can find much more in-depth information on diabetes and carbs at the diabetes.co.uk website, or you can share your dietary tips and experiences with other people on the Diabetes Forum.